Hello and welcome to the unboxing of the fluid head monopod I just got with the folding three feet. You can see Amazon's delivered it to the woods because I'm known around here as the woodman and I live in the woods. Huh, <laughs> yeah. Hi there. And here we are with an Amazon box. You can tell it's an Amazon box because the thing I ordered was only about that size. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> and there's stacks of brown paper. And then there'll be another box, which is that one. We'll get in it in a minute. It's a Kuli Hoda, Huda photo video monopod. I wanted one, I've got a few, but I wanted one with a fluid head just for doing my videos. And then I wanted one with three feet on it, which makes it into a tripod. <laughs> I'm sure you know what I mean. <laughs> I didn't want a tripod, not another tripod anyway. When you've got about seven tripods and some big ones with fluid heads, and I like them and I use them all, indoors and outdoors, then I wanted a monopod with one. I could have had an ordinary monopod and took my, one of my fluid heads off the one of my tripods but then that's not what I wanted to do I wanted a separate one so here we are complete with bag as you can see good thought all wrapped up in the dreaded poly which I shall put there for now and here it is and it does have as you can see, I'll loosen that off a bit. A drag fluid head. Couldn't be any easier. And if I loosen that one off, you'll see the resistance. The handle can be put either side. I've got one of these heads, different make, but I've got one on my, uh, one of my tripods and it's one of them sort. Because my Lumix doesn't have a stud hole in the bottom, or none of my cameras do, I remove that because it becomes a nuisance when you're trying to put the cameras on and off. And it works by both. Mind your fingers, that hurts. Really hurts. Can't emphasize, really hurts. <laughs> and the feet are like that, and the lock. There we are. And that's it. It's really as good as that. And it adjusts on these. I'll stand back a bit. And that's it. Just the right height for videoing. And I'm trying to get a, there, level ground. And that's it. And I got this just for my Lumix, my Lumix FZ2000. That's FZ2500 or FZH1, depending which country you live in. So there you go. It's got a rubber handle, so your, your handies don't get cold. It has a strap there which I've not quite worked out. I think it's a wrist thing because it's not long enough to be a carry strap. So I'm just working on the assumption it's a wrist grip. And that's it. It's the Cooley Huda 288. Now I know for a fact the top screws off. 
this is heat. I know for a fact the top screws off. So you can put a different head on if you would want to. It's got the 3.8, or is it 5.8? I've just forgotten, quarter, 5.8 size thread there. So you'd need an adapter on some heads. And then let me just fold this up. There we go, on the bottom. This two unscrews, says he, I think. And it becomes, can you see? I, I thought this was so impressive. You can undo it a little bit at the bottom. Let me put that head up there. And if you put your feet on one of these stays, look. So it's not locked in position. I, I find it totally amazing. I'll undo it a bit more. The more you undo it, look. And it stays part and parcel of the unit. I thought that was rather brilliant. See if I can get you a better view. And the more you unscrew it, up to, say right up to the top, there, look. And that really, really sold it for me. I know the bottom screws off, but I would never want it off. But for the sake of showing you, I'll unscrew it. And there you are. Same size thread as that end. And then to put the legs away, they've got little catches on them. You pull and release. Pull, I'm trying to show you better. Pull and release. And there, it's little rubber pads in there. So you pull and release. Now, with the feet, you can take them off and you can now use it as a tabletop. Yeah. So I'm going to put this up here and watch this. You have all this movement and it's all fluid. You just can't can't get over it and tighten that up again if we undo these you have to pull clips to undo it yeah. it ceases to be any bloody good <laughs> but it locks it all up for transportation and so on you can take the handle off you don't even have to use the monopod. But that, I can see a use for that because I, I used to have a tabletop tripod and I can see that working out. Especially with the, the big Lumix on the top. And I know I've emphasized this before, but when you put that in, do not have your other hand or any other hand near that catch because clump and it does hurt. <laughs> I'll be talking from experience here. <laughs> and that's your lot. The cost was about £50 altogether, which I thought was more than reasonable. Just tighten this down. And that included delivery, and that was from Amazon. You may get it cheaper on eBay, I don't know. But I, I like Amazon, I like the service, I like the delivery. It arrives when I want it. I'm always in because I tell them when I want it to arrive. Can't ask for more than that. 
Now, as you can see, it's 5 foot 10 or 1.778 meters tall. And that's me stood beside it. You can see it's reasonably stable. It's only got little feet, as you'll see in a bit, but it works. And there you can see that it's got the Lumix FZ2000 on top. I've just undone it to let you see how fluid the movement is. That wasn't me dropping the camera. And there it is there. Sorry about the vertical. I forgot. <laughs> but you can see it's not going anywhere. Thanks for watching. Bye.